morning everybody, Rob Howard, RJH Motorbike Training in Eccles, Manchester today with me John Prince who looks after our fleet of motorbikes. Um, short video today introducing Storm, our Peugeot Boxer which we got, it's a 2.2 litre diesel, um, it's an L3H2 if that means anything to you. It is in order for us to ship our bikes around all of our sites. Um, those that follow us on the channel know that all our bikes are maintained by John on site at Eccles. So we've just fitted a ramp this morning. John's just fitted a ramp this morning, so we're going to show you our ramp. And then what we're going to do is show you a video of how uh, the, one of the ways you can strap a bike into a van. Now there are lots of different ways. Uh, if you have got alternatives, please do comment away below. But we're going to show you, um, or John's going to show you, the way that we use in Manchester. So take a look and comment away. So the ramp is hydraulic, nice and um, easy to, to use. Look at that. And So this particular van has got 10 mountain points, so what do you call them John? The tie down points. Tie down points, it's got 10 of them. And John is going to show you how he uses um, just two I think, aren't you John? Just the two. Two, yes. two straps, two mountain points, on, on this is a Honda 650F, so it's quite a big bike. Uh, leaving it on the side stand. Keeps the bike, it keeps the bike firm, stops the suspension compressing and moving around when we're going over bumps or speed bumps. So basically, what we're doing is we're pulling, we're pulling the, the we're strapping around the bottom yoke. Um, let's have we, a look. Uh, so anybody can have a look. So what we do is we fix around the, the bottom yoke. Yeah. Um, and then we, is what we're doing is we we we're strapping it to the bulkhead of the van, so that keeps it rigid to okay. the bulkhead. Yeah. Um, and then obviously with it being on the side stand, that stops the bike moving around. Okay. So that's one mounting point. You can put extra tie downs if you really, really wanted to. But I've been doing this for years and I've never had a bike go over in a van as yet. Um, but you are you can put extra tie downs on on to make sure it's double rigid if you're unsure. Is that one? Where's the second one mounted on the bike, John? Same place? Yes, around the bottom yoke on left and right hand side. So as you can right. see, always make sure when you're strapping your bike down, you've got no electrical cables or brake lines because if you're pulling down on, on an electrical uh, cable or a brake line, it could cause it damage it. to the yep. bike. Yep, good. Sorry, the new strap, so... Yeah, I've got all my fans on, I don't know if they're any good, are they? They do the job. Yeah. Do the job, they're yeah. Good. They're good enough. They're a bit they're long, though, weren't they? They were a bit long, yeah. And then, as I strap it down now, you'll see the bike moving as I'm ratcheting it. So... So always make sure your steering is rigid and it won't move. That means it's tied down enough on the, the forks. So as you can see, the front wheel can't move. And because the side stand is down, the bike then becomes completely rigid with the van. 
Solid. 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 Yeah, okay. So, if you had two bikes then, John, you put one on each side? Yes, if you were to put two bikes in the van, or three, you would have to put them close to the wall, but have them stood upright. Yeah. So that's where different techniques come in of strapping them, um, okay. which we will do at a later date. So there's no um, right or wrong way of doing there's it? There's no right or wrong way of doing it as long as it's secure. It's secure, and, yeah. yes. Okay. But that's, that's my, the way I would always do it. Two straps on the front, bottom yoke. That's sufficient. And as you can see, it's never going to go anywhere. So that's, okay, mate. You could, in theory, put extra straps on if you wish. Right. Thanks for your time, John. No problem. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Cheers. Bye bye. So, hope that video helps. And um, any questions or any comments, just fire them away below. Um, we'll always get back to you. So, thanks for watching. Bye.